I contacted CDOT and tried to get some answers, and they said, we don't have any money in the budget to fix this bridge. Every time you fill up the gas pump, you are helping pay for bridge maintenance and repairs. Well, now a group of Coloradans are asking, where are those tax dollars going? As a bridge in their neighborhood has them asking questions about both safety and aesthetics. So they say this bridge on Sheridan in southwest Denver is an eyesore, and they question it if it's structurally sound. They reached out to Denver 7 Investigates, and tonight we have some results. Chief investigative reporter Tony Kowaleski has a look at bridges in our state and accountability questions for decision makers. I've lived here since 1986, and I've never seen them work on this bridge. It's embarrassing, it's, it's ugly, dangerous. You are hearing the voices of frustration. Several residents from one neighborhood saying, this is no longer acceptable. What does this say about your neighborhood? Nobody cares. Their neighborhood bridge is located on Sheridan in southwest Denver. How many of you are concerned about the safety of the bridge behind you? Their concerns center on the crumbling concrete, the exposed rebar, the damaged guardrails. That's wide open. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be keep people from falling in. And it's more than safety. They also wonder how the overall optics of this bridge impact their property values. A crumbling bridge where portions of the railing are secured with plywood. What's with the plywood? Why do we have plywood up there? Does any other bridge in Denver have plywood? What's your message right now to CDOT? Please fix it. These neighbors have spent more than two years trying to get some sort of action, including multiple contacts with CDOT and the city of Denver. What's your message to them? I'm as frustrated as they are. Denver City Council member Kevin Flynn tried to help the residents of his district, but he quickly learned it's not a city of Denver bridge. The responsibility for fixing it lands with the Colorado Department of Transportation, a bridge CDOT inspectors have officially labeled in fair condition. CDOT says this is fair. If that's what passes for fair in CDOT, I'd hate to see poor. Denver 7 Investigates has visited several of the bridges in our region that CDOT officially labels as poor. We'll give you an up-close view on that a little later. But first, our deep data review of bridges in Colorado. CDOT manages more than 3,400 bridges throughout the state. Roughly one-third are rated in good condition. The bridge on Sheridan is one of 2,100 bridges rated as fair. Roughly 61% of all the bridges managed by CDOT got that fair rating. Safety inspectors closed this bridge on Highway 50 earlier this week after discovering a crack. That was news from last month, CDOT shutting down this bridge crossing the Blue Mesa Reservoir near Gunnison. Officially shut down because of anomalies in the bridge identified during a safety inspection. And we found this noteworthy. That bridge had a fair rating just like the bridge on Sheridan in Denver. We are at the point right now where a lot of these bridges are re reaching the end of their useful life. Chris Sensony is a bridge expert. He teaches at CU Boulder. A lot of our infrastructure in the United States, in Colorado, including our bridges, was built in the 50s and the 60s. According to federal data, the Sheridan Bridge was built back in 1961, meaning it has 63 years of service. What do you say to these neighbors that were saying, fix this bridge? I can totally understand their concerns and, and maybe their frustrations. Now let's look at the bridges CDOT has labeled as poor. Officially, 184 bridges in Colorado are in even worse condition than that bridge on Sheridan. We visually inspected more than a dozen bridges with that poor rating, including this one on I-25 in Castle Rock. And this bridge over Sand Creek, north of downtown Denver. We discovered several bridges with significant concrete breakdowns. We also drove more than an hour east of Denver on I-70. There, we found more crumbling concrete damaged substructures and exposed rebar. 
Our review also included this bridge 15 miles east of the Denver airport. There we found large chunks of cement on the ground, chunks that fell from the bridge's substructure. Some of the visuals to the layman are concerning. Are those bridges safe? Yes. We brought the findings of our investigation to Natasha Butler, a bridge assessment engineer with CDOT. Our inspectors have looked at them every two years and deemed them to be safe. It might look bad, right? It might not be aesthetically pleasing to see corroded rebar or spalls, but these aren't defects that are considered to be structurally unsound or unsafe on our structures. We also asked the CDOT engineer to address what neighbors found at that bridge on Sheridan. They reached out to our team airing frustrations and concerns. What do you say to them? So CDOT has heard those concerns and, and responded to that. It's getting fixed. Yes, yeah, the, um, the, the railing and, and that snow barrier, yeah. Yes, years after complaints from the neighborhood were first filed and weeks after learning of our investigation, CDOT had crews out on the bridge fixing some of the safety and aesthetic problems. Residents in that community said they've been trying to get this fixed for three years. Why did it take so long? You know, that is um, a good question. When you sent that email, did you ever think this was going to happen? No. Ben Blanchard spent years pressuring CDOT, and he sent that key email to Denver 7 Investigates. I'm very excited that after many years, they're actually doing something to make this more attractive and possibly safer. Why do you think it's getting fixed now? I think because Channel 7 has approached them or there's word that you're going to do a story on this and finally they're willing to do something. A few final thoughts for you. CDOT stresses all bridges in the state are inspected every two years. And if a bridge is open in Colorado, that means it is safe. That includes all bridges ranging from a good rating down to the 184 rated as poor. Now, our team has compiled an interactive map that shows the location and includes details of all the CDOT bridges in the state with a poor rating. You can access that map right now by going to denver7.com. I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski. Good stuff. Thank you.